Look at this outside shot. Is this not magnificent? Chrysler building It's beautiful outside right now uh, with winds off the ocean. It's still mild and cloud cover that keeps some of the daytime heat in. didn't get a lot of daytime heat because we didn't see a lot of sun. But currently mid 40s to the upper 40s and highs tomorrow basically where we were yesterday in the low 50s. Story number two. Do you think we've seen a lot of rain? I say rain, right? There's been no snow. I mean, we haven't had any measurable snow yet. So if you look at the total going up towards the end of the year, we're at a surplus and we will end at a big time surplus. We may be 10 inches above where we should be by the end, by, by the end of the weekend. It's at almost nine inches now. We could pick up two inches tomorrow. Radar, umbrella needed. Not tonight, tomorrow, yes. Uh, public transportation probably necessary tomorrow because as this frontal system approaches, the morning commute is okay. It's the afternoon commute that has problems associated with all this rain. And as you see, the low and the front interact with all that moisture coming in from the Atlantic as well as the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico. By 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, the rain is starting. But the heavier rain, the yellows showing here from the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, Manhattan, and Hoboken, Weehawken, Jersey City, Fort Lee, and to Westchester, over to Long Island, and Connecticut. Everybody's soaked, it looks like, by 7. So the afternoon commute will be messy at best. I say at best. It could be just a disaster if this rain's coming down like it looks like it might. Some of the models indicating, as you see here, an inch. The other model indicates almost two inches in some areas. So good amount of rainfall falling tomorrow within a you know, period of about 12 hours. Winds will pick up, but they're not they're not as high as the last storm. So 20 miles an hour, we should be OK for the most part, although it could take a tree down or so maybe. And hopefully that won't be the case by Thursday. The low is off the coast, but you see the low is the lifting mechanism makes that moisture laden air rise, come together at the surface, rise, condense and come down. It's still possible with that low close enough to bring us a drop or two Thursday. But the good news here is the temperatures remain mild. It's close to 55 degrees for a high on Thursday, especially if we don't see any of this that says on the backside, we could see something in the afternoon to the evening hours. That's nothing to write home about Friday. The low, there's another low that could bring us a little rain, but the real big deal, the real big deal here is saying that it's going to bring cold air down from Canada. It's not the fact that we might see some precipitation. And so 35 is the wind chill Sunday night at midnight. That's the wind chill. So it's much colder 52 today and then 55 tomorrow and then 50 degrees on Friday.